All right, my last video, my last GIMP video, I was showing you how to make those uh, little animated GIFs or GIFs or what do you want to call it. And it was of this little character, this uh, judge guy wiggling his, uh, I don't know what do you call that, this pull toy, I guess. But anyways, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to modify the, the little GIF images, you know, putting funny faces on it or whatever. And today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing, uh, showing how to put uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's face on it. But in order to do this, you got to uh, render his head out. <laughs> so... To do that, basically, you just gotta you know drag and drop it in, and uh, you know cut his face out. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I'm sorry if I'm kind of rushing, but you know I do have a time limit. So, anyways, let me uh, drag him in here. And uh, well, like before, like I was like I said about the uh, the whole image size, like I upsized it this time because to give it you know a little bit better quality. Depending on what you're doing with these little images, like if you say like you are a, a member of a forum and they allow those little uh, animated, you know, pictures or avatars, then you might need to scale it down. But if, if it doesn't require that, then of course, you know, scale it up so you can have better quality. But anyways, well, here's uh, Arnold. All right, so we're going to cut his head out, but I want to flip the image. To flip it, just click right here, the little flip tool. Now click on his face and it should flip it like so. Now we're going to cut his head out, so we're going to use the scissor tool, click on this, now zoom in here, and just go around his face, around the, you know, the lines, his jaw or whatever. And I'm going to rush through it, <clears throat> of course, uh, the more time you take with it, uh, the better the cut will be, it'll look a little bit better, that's possible, I guess, with Arnold. Let's see all the way around alright and uh... come on Ugh. yeah it looks horrible but like I said I'm just rushing through it <clears throat> excuse me if you get like little edges that, that are like like this I guess just uh... just drag it to where it's needed all right now once you're close to the area you're done you know to the very end of it to the to, once you reach to the to the beginning part where you started you know click on it now hit enter right if you want a feather edge it you can do that as well go to the toolbox for this and uh click on feather edge right now uh right click edit cut okay now since you don't need you know this image anymore we're just gonna go ahead and delete this layer so click on the little red X now go to select none to remove the selection now right click edit paste as new brush okay now we're just gonna give it a name I'm gonna just give it like a AR for Arnold AR whatever okay now press OK you might get an error, just ignore it. Press OK. Now in your brush brush section, right here, there he is. See him? So we're gonna click on the little brush tool. And uh, you know, just basically uh, uh find where you want him to be at, you know. Let me see. Let me just give you an idea what I'm talking about. Let me adjust this. I'm sorry. There we go, that's better. I know it's the screen recorder is uh, causing my GIMP to be really laggy, so uh there we go, now I can see it. Anyways, your bracket tool, your bracket uh buttons on your uh on your keyboard will allow you to uh to resize your your uh geez, I'm just lost for words today, I'm sorry. Will allow you to resize your brush. <laughs> you can also use the the, the slider as well. <laughs> right right here the scale of it but I'd rather use the little brackets on on your uh, on your keyboard see it's a little bit easier this way so anyways just like uh, paste into here like so and now click on the second layer down here and when you paste when you when you uh, not paste but when you click your little brush again you won't be able to see it because this layer is visible over on top of it so if you were to click the little eyeball right to remove it, then you can see the bottom layer. So let's go to the third layer right here. Now un uncheck the little eyeball, 
and click on it again right and like I said if you take your time like each each layer of course is a layer and you can modify each layer so if I wanted to put like a little cigar in his mouth or whatever you can do that but I'm just gonna be you know rushing through this I guess but um anyways I think I have like 17 of these or something layers so I'm gonna go ahead and just continue on just uh, you know uh, putting his head on here you yeah, know no big deal like I'm not really shooting for quality here so there we go anyways just a couple more to go and uh, I'm almost done So like you know you can put anybody's face, you can put your sister's face, your mom or your dad or whatever. Ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Alright, now I'm done. So, oops, sorry. Now we gotta optimize it for the, the GIF images again. So filters, animation, optimize for GIF. There we go. Now we're going to save it. File, save as. I'm going to save it as, uh, I guess, AR. Dot GIF. All right. Just put it on my desktop. Save it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Save as animation. Export. Okay. Uh, the delay between the, the frame rate, so how fast it actually moves. So I'm going to set it about 20. Then click right here where it says use delay. Click save. Should be done. There it is. There you go. There's a kind of a... Oh, geez. Screen recorder. See if there you go.